So Okinawa's most famous export, perhaps, is karate. Uh -huh. When most of us think of karate, we think of striking exclusively. Is, is that a, a, an accurate representation of what you're doing? The basis of Okinawan karate is that it was used primarily as a, as a defensive art. Um, in other words, being able to you know, control and subdue the opponent, usually if you could in a, in a humane way, but then if you had to right. finish them, then, then you had the ability to finish them. The striking is important, but a lot of the technique is not about striking, it's about uh, submission techniques. Yeah. Some of that is to do with um, Kyusho, so attacking nerve points. And uh, Hokama Sensei in particular is extremely skilled at um, dealing with, uh, you know, bigger, stronger opponents. Human engineering, very important. Point, 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 point. Then this point attack to fingers. No, no knuckle. Open. The demonstration of Hokama Sensei's open hand Kyushu technique becomes a little too real for my taste. <laughs> Awful. Human engineering, with a terrifying logic, one attacks the weak point. All I know how to do in this situation, by the way, is pull guard and look for something to choke or lock. Nope. Apparently, they don't know what tapping out means here because I was tapping like Western. Union. I thought he was going to push that 71-year-old finger right into my brain pan. 